G'day, I am Eric and welcome to the Penrith Whitewater Stadium. This is located in Penrith in Sydney's west, about 60 kilometres out of Sydney. This is actually an Olympic venue from the Sydney 2000 Olympics that is seeing a lot of use outside the Olympic period. This venue was the venue for the whitewater rafting and also for um, canoe slalom during the Olympics and has been used for, cano for canoeing and kayaking since in the post-Olympic period in various state, national and international events. But it's also used for recreational whitewater rafting and also for training people who are in into canoe slalom and kayaking as well. The location of the site is actually an old quarry site. However, once the quarrying has stopped around here, it's been returned to water usage, water usage, water coming from the nearby Nepean River. On this site is the White Water Stadium, of course. Meanwhile, behind us is the international rowing course that was used for the rowing events during the Sydney Olympics and is also used for other rowing regattas as well. There are, are other lakes for general purpose use including for boating and for sailing, jet skiing and all that sort of thing in an attempt to try and get people off the river and into a safe environment. Now the water here can be controlled, the flow rates and everything can be controlled according to the, t the competition and the use of the lake at the time. At the moment we're in a general purpose type use where we've got some people training and also some recreational white water rafters so they can vary the flow rates and the, um, the rapids which we'll go and have a look at shortly. Also they can vary the course for canoe slalom events and we'll have a look at that in some more detail shortly. What we're looking at now is a conveyor belt which takes our canoeists and our kayakers up from one level to another. Behind me is where the initial safety briefings and a short lesson is conducted in what you have to do uh, for those people who haven't been whitewater rafting before and this conveyor belt takes you up to the start of the course it's the um, last chance for the instructor to have a bit of a chat while you're going up the ramp and it's also a good chance to have a rest As you can see the water is flowing quite fast at the moment. With the usual course at the moment runs from left to right. And we're just seeing a couple of people just doing some, some training and moving from one side of the uh, wave to the other. And you'll see sometimes that they're not paddling all the time, sometimes they just let the sometimes they just let the water do the work for them. Now the the gate system is quite interesting. You can see up against the um, you can see there a couple of gates, the Kanisvalum gates. And at the moment they're off to the side. Now we've got a white water rafting group coming, so we'll have a look at them as they go through. And so as, as you can see the water is quite strong. Now these gates can be moved from side to side on the wires that you can see here. So they're not always in the one position. So they can change the course um, according to the skill level 